hello, hello there everybody, this is Wizard, and I'm glad you could join me because I was cruising around on Facebook the other day, and I found a mod that I really wanted to play with. I tried it for 1.10, and I just wasn't happy with the mods that I could get to uh, accompany that mod. And that mod's called, called Village Box, and it's a really cool mod. Uh, a lot of us hate villagers and vanilla, and this mod really does something unique with villagers. And I'm going to jump right into it. I've got some stuff here, and book of village box. And yeah, and I got a starter house built here. That's going to be our town is going to be here by the ocean. And by this nice lake right there. And I'll show you the house. I've got some stuff planted to go along with it. I've got Mr. Crayfish's furniture. I've got Pam's Harvest Craft. I've also got uh, Deco Craft. And this is the starter house that we're going to start with. And what Village Box does is it takes everything you know about uh, vanilla villages and throws it right out the window. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. I've got some stuff here. I need one more thing in the plank. And as you can see, I've done some of the starter stuff because this mod, this Let's Play, this is going to be a little something different. And for this mod, the main thing we're going to focus on is the mailbox. The main mod that we're going to focus on is Village Box. Because I saw on YouTube another YouTuber named Boikes, B O I K S. I watched his Let's Play of this mod, and it looks like it's a lot, a lot of fun. So first thing you do is you take a mailbox, then you take feather, ink sack, paper, get an invitation, and welcome to my village. You take your invitation, right click the mailbox. And it says you have signed an invitation, someone will reply to you soon. And I got Pam's Harvest Craft in here for a couple reasons. One, I love Pam's mods, especially the Harvest Craft mod, because I like having a variety of foods in Minecraft and vanilla. Doesn't really do it. Although, Village Box does add some variety. I wanted a bit more variety than even. Uh, Village Fox mod gave us. So, I have Fan Targets for And I'm going to be playing a lot with that mod too. Another important part of this mod are these bronze coins. You are going to need a literal crap ton of these things. And I did some mining. I got some iron to start us off. We have new mail, that's awesome. You right click it when you have new mail, you'll get mail. You'll get a letter. And once you have a letter, you go into an unoccupied house. You right click the letter. I'm so tired about the current life and looking for a new place to live. Could I become a villager in your village? Fair enough. Of course you can, fair enough. You approve. And you get a villager. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. We're going to set her home. And you can see she has trades. Apple. Eggs. The villagers just pretty much have those. But we can upgrade them. We're not going to upgrade them quite yet. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to send out another invitation. 
between episodes, I'll probably make up a few of these. I just wanted to give you a feel of how it goes, the invitation. Let's send this invitation out. And we'll wait a little bit. And as you can tell by the map, when the map comes up here, I'm pretty close to spawn. I spawned down in here somewhere. And I was looking for the perfect place, and for now it's going to be right here. Our village may expand all the way down around and through here, that's my hope. So, let's just see how it goes, shall we? We're waiting for mail. We've got some coins. Speaking of coins, the easiest way to get coins is earth and grass. You get coins pretty much from anything. Chopping down trees. Mining. Just about everything you do in Minecraft you can earn you these coins. And they're just as important as the mailbox, I think. Alright, awesome. Let's go see. Let's see who we got in our next letter. And in a prior update, you only had one villager living in a house. Now you can have more than one villager. And hopefully we'll get a guy. Gerald, I heard you're building a village. I want to know if I could have a chance to be a villager. You're, you sure can. Now we'll set his home here. And we'll upgrade him. You can upgrade him from a villager to a peasant. They have basic farming skills. Worker produces tools and weapons. Banker exchanges currency. And a scholar engages in studies. Okay, silver coins. You need a banker. So, Gerald, you're going to be a banker. Now, let's see. We need. You can't upgrade the banker anymore. You can trade a stack of bronze coins to get silver coins. I'm going to do that a couple times because for our next villager, I already have played this a little bit. And like I said, I've watched a Let's Play by Boyks. So let's see if we can find. She must want back in the house because I see her name tag in there. Verna. Let's go find her. We are going to upgrade her to be a worker. Put that in. Worker. We want to upgrade her one more time to a builder. And I need 32 stone bricks and 32 oak planks. As well as two silver coins. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go and get that stuff, shall we? We, we want to get her up to be a builder. Builder is going to be very important. So we want 32. To make us a little Faster, let's do that. Let's do that. We've got 35. So that's perfect. Let's put these coins in. I'm just going to do a quick sort here. Three. I've got some food and whatnot set up. So the village box. We'll put that book in while we're waiting for our stone to cook up. Let's, let's make some more paper so we have it. Paper, nice. Okay, put sugar canes in there. Right, and it's getting time to be bedtime. I forgot. I put on peaceful while I was building earlier. But we'll hop in bed. 
start a new day. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the little box book. We'll put that in there as well. Okay. Professions. It's unknown until you get them. A villager. This is what they look like. Worker. Banker. That tells you what they trade as well. And it just goes through all the different professions. Let's look at the trading list of the worker. Worker, I can get some iron tools. So let's let's do that before we uh before we upgrade them. Or before we upgrade them to be our builder. I want to start out with a banker and a builder because I believe those are the two that are the most important for helping us expand our village to get more stuff. So, okay, we'll get us an iron sword, get us an iron pick. Of course, we need an axe. I don't need a hoe. I would like to get a shovel. Okay, now that we have a set of iron tools, we're doing really good. And you'll go through these coins like super fast. And that should be our stone all done. And they wanted stone brick, I believe. I know it's a lot of back and forth. Hi, Joe. Checking your mail. It's a Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod mailbox. Okay, Verna. Come here. Let's get you building, shall we? Upgrade her to a builder. Now, let's we'll see her trades. Silver coin. Builders give us these build boxes. I'm going to use these build boxes to, well, it's easier to show you than to explain. So, I'm just going to get some more coins to go talk to Gerald. Okay. And in doing this, we should be able to uh, get another villager to move in. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Uh, I think it will. Whoops, gotta do it one at a time. And all these coins that I cleared all this grass in front of us for. All this grass around this, I mean, around this area. I pretty much went through. But, that's okay. I think we'll put this build box right about. I don't want it too close, but I don't want it too far away. Either. Put it right there. And. I'll clear this out a bit because they generate money if you have stuff in the way. Okay, that should be good. that's plenty good enough. You right click it and it builds a box. Henceforth, that is why it's called a build. So, we will just go, just for the sake of it, for the moment, we'll stick that there. Let's come down here. I want to build a couple things. I want to build 
Feather. Ink sack. Paper. And these are not shaped recipes for the invitations, by the way. Just so you know. Okay, let's get some doors. Alright, put that in there. Put that in there. Let's put that in there. Stuff for a village box I'm going to put in there. And I'll go through between episodes. That's pretty much how I built this. I used a medium one next to a small one. And between episodes I'll go through and I'll rebuild this. I'll make it look a little nicer than a generic um, box. And I'll work on getting some beds and stuff put in here. But just for the moment, we'll get a couple more villagers. There'll be a cave under me. Uh, while we're waiting for the mail, I'll get one more invitation made. So we, we'll get us two more people. We'll get us another. We'll get us two more workers because there's something in particular that I want to make. Okay. New mail. And that's the mail. Mail from Refugee. That's pretty funny. Okay, I'm not sure if you have to have a bed for a villager. I don't think you do. Okay. Let's see, Refugee. I'm so tired about the current life. I'm looking for a new place to live. Try to become a villager in your village. You sure can. Let's see what we need. We'll set this home here. I love my new home. I'm so glad you like your new home. Workers. Okay, we need crafting tables and coins. Hmm. Crafting table is not a problem. Not a problem at all. I need... A total of 50 coins. So, okay. Mail from Roderick. Refugee and Roderick. That'll be good. Let's put Roderick in here with Refugee. Set him in here. I love my new home. Okay. I have two villagers. Oh, I want to get an apple off of one of these guys. I do want an apple. So we need about 20 coins. That should be easy enough to get. Let's just go and break some grass. There's a reason why I want two builders. And builders have a lot of different types, or not builders, but workers. There's a reason why I want two workers. Workers can be upgraded into some really useful professions. And you can get blacksmiths and a couple others that I want to get. And I put them in the same house because I had an idea. They can be roommates. Where Gerald and Verna. I'm just going to assume Gerald and Verna are a couple. It's their little garden. But Roderick and Refugee. I'm going to say they're brothers. That would make sense. Upgrade him to be a worker. 
Mm -hmm. Worker. Awesome. And Roger, come on, Roger. Upgrade. He is going to be another. He's going to be another worker. All right, now upgrade workers. You see, builder. We got a builder. Burn up. Carpenter creates wooden items. Blacksmith makes steel ingots. <clears throat> so I need two silver coins, two iron ingots, and ten coal. And miner or carpet maker. Next thing, I want to make two blacksmiths. Blacksmiths make steel ingots. Then you can upgrade them further from blacksmith. To basically their final form. It's going to take us some time for that. But that's okay. And we also need a lot more coins. And the reason why I said I wanted an apple is I want to make something from pounds. Can you not make that in this one? Come on, come on. I'm right at the verge of having too many. You need three apples. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's get enough corn. Oh, bollocks, we can't. Well, that'll be something I'll work on between episodes. I've got to get more coins. Uh, I've got to collect some more apples. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We can get quests from our villagers. He wants a crafting table. Awesome. That's fairly easy. And it will also help us earn coins that we need to upgrade these guys. It'll give us 10 coins for a crafting table. 10 coins for a crafting table will save us some time and energy. And we've already got the stuff, so let's just uh, blast out a crafting table real quick and go and get us some coins. Hopefully, if they keep giving us quests. Hey buddy. Keep giving us quests. We'll have enough coins in no time. So I guess this is where I'm gonna say see you later guys. And in the next episode we will be able to hopefully upgrade our new guys to their jobs and I'll tell you why and what we're going to be doing then. So if you've had a good time watching this episode and are interested in this mod, you could leave a like, maybe a comment, or subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It would help out my channel immensely. And I'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.